Hi, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today in this video, let's talk about how to properly invest in mutual funds, UITF, and BUL funds. Hope you enjoy this video. Okay, can we explain muna about mutual funds, UITF, and BUL funds? So basically, these are pooled funds, meaning pinagsasama-sama yung pera ng mga investors and there will be a fund manager managing your money. But before ka makapag-invest, i-assess ka muna nila. So ano muna yung purpose ng investment mo, why you're investing, how long yung uh, investment horizon mo, and what is your risk tolerance when it comes to investing? Tatanungin ka nila ng mga questions similar sa mga sinabi ko. These are frequently asked questions. So I highly encourage you na before you palang invest your money into these kinds of investments, alam mo na agad sa sarili mo yung sagot sa mga tanong na to. There will be someone naman who will guide you when you invest your money with them, but I highly encourage you na pag-aralan mo muna to on your own because madalas they only know how to sell and hindi talaga sila maruno mag-invest. So it's always good to fact-check everything when it comes to your own money and take everything with a grain of salt, pati yung sinasabi ko, and always do fact-check and cross-referencing. So generally, there are just three types of funds and the others are just variations of these funds. So these fundamental funds are equity fund, bond fund, and balance fund. The very quick explanation about these funds is equity funds are for people who want aggressive growth for their money. They are fine with high risk and high reward na ratio. They also are fine uh, investing their money for more than 10 years. For bond fund naman, these are for conservative investors so they have low risk, low reward na tolerance and they usually have a shorter time period ng pag invest so mga less than 5 years. For balance fund naman, this is just a mix of equity fund and bond fund. So, these are for moderately aggressive investors and moderately conservative investors. So, mix lang to. So, usually, yung time frame mo when it comes to investing in these funds is less than 10 years but more than 5 years. Let's do a more in-depth analysis. Ano ba yung mga funds ito so that we can understand how these funds move and behave. First, let's start with equity funds. So, based on mga ipapakita ko sa inyong fan fact sheet ng mga companies ito, 80 to 90% ng portfolio nila is invested into equities or in more layman's term, naka-invest sa stock market while yung the rest, yung 20% or 10% naka-invest yan into bonds or money market. They usually invest in holdings companies, properties, financials, and services. So, if you look at all the equities funds ngayon, all of them are down by 20 plus percent. So, bakit ganon? Just look at the PSE index and you'll see the big picture. So, basically when you're investing on equity, you're betting your money on the stock market. Now, equity funds are not index funds where it totally tracks yung PSE index natin but what inside them are almost similar. So, I'll just explain more about uh, index funds by the end of this video. Now, let's talk about bonds which isn't the sexiest but it's always reliable. When it comes to bonds, you're talking about government loans and private corporations loans. So, ibig sabihin when you invest your money into bonds, you're investing by lending your money to the government or any private corporations. That's the reason why it's more stable and reliable kasi yung chance of defaulting or yung hindi pagbabayad ng government and private corporations are less likely to happen. I never thought that these funds would grow by double digits but here we are, it's ranging from 8% to 12% from these bond funds. For balance fund naman, mix lang yan equities and bond funds. So let's just take a look on sa fan fact sheet nila and yung table of performance nito mga to. You could also see that balance funds are at a loss kasi majority ng laman ng balance fund is at equities but it is not as down as equities fund kasi nga mix yung portfolio nito so may laman din tong bond fund. Now that you have an idea what these funds are and ano meron sa loob nila, now let's talk about strategy on how are you going to buy in these funds. Each and every fund is different and has a purpose and yun yung pag-uusapan natin sa part ng video na to. Let's create a scenario for you to fully understand how you're gonna take advantage of these funds. Let's just make an example. For example, you want to prepare for your retirement in your 60s and nasa 20s ka pa lang and 30s ka pa lang. So how are you gonna invest in these funds para you have enough retirement money pagdating mo ng 60s mo? So ako, if I have a regular paying job, probably do cost averaging. So cost averaging meaning nito you buy your chosen funds on a regular time period or regular time frame. So yung iba madalas they do every cut up so every 15 and 30 yet kind of swell though. Yung iba naman monthly, yung iba naman um, every quarter so every 3 months, yung iba naman half annual every 6 months, yung iba naman once a year. So depende sa preference mo ng pagbili ng funds mo. So why do you do it this way? For me, it's just spreading the risk or minimizing yung risk. Kasi paano if nabili mo yung fund mo at its peak or kung mahal then bumagsak yung presyo. Gilugi ka na, ba? So what you do is you also buy the 
low. Bili mo yung presyo ng low and mag average yung mga pagbili mo. Kasi pagka binigilaw mo yung mag average na yung pagbili mo sa top and pagbili mo sa low. So bakit ganito yung gusto ko? Kasi, kasi generally throughout a decades period ng pag-invest in the market, bataas naman talaga yung trajectory ng stock market. Now that we have an investing strategy, where do we put our money in? What funds do we buy? So para sa akin, let's bring back yung index funds back to the table. So basically, index funds is just a variation of equity fund. So naka-invest pa rin yung money mo on the stock market. So ang difference lang nito is, is just tracking yung PSE index natin. So basically, yung pera mo is invested in the top 30 listed companies natin here in the Philippines. So why do I prefer index funds more than equity funds? So, kung similar lang naman sila. So basically, yung unang reason ko dito is, number one, uh, it has lower management fees compared to equity fund. So, bakit? Kasi yung reason dito is, for fund managers, they have less job to do pagka index funds yung binili mo. So, kasi nga, ginagaya lang naman yung index, they're just tracking index fund natin. But, pag sa equity kasi yun, what they're trying to do is to beat yung index or yung benchmark. Reason number two, index funds just performs better than equity fund. So, back in 2017, when the market is so good, uh, mas maganda yung performance ng index funds natin more than equity funds. So, that's understood. But ngayon, when the market is horrible, the index fund is as good as equity fund or sometimes it's it's better performing pa nga eh. Okay, now that I was able to explain what index funds is, I like to mix it with bond funds. So I like mixing index and bond fund according to my age. That's a legit diversification strategy. So now I'm currently 26 and I just subtracted to 100. So yung lalabas is 74. So I'll invest 74% in index fund and yung the rest, yung 26% would be in bond fund and I'll just adjust it accordingly habang tumatanda ako and depende sa purpose ko on my investing. Let's just put a summary into this. So number one, uh, invest regularly, set aside extra money, and do cost averaging. Number two, learn to diversify, switch and mix your funds accordingly. Depende sa time horizon na investment journey mo and depende sa purpose ng pag invest mo. Third and most important, when you hit your investing goal, learn how to take profits and gamitin mo yung money mo accordingly dun sa purpose mo. Whether it's for retirement, pambili ng bahay, pambili ng kotse, take the profits and don't be greedy. Again, I just want to remind everyone I'm not a financial expert or any guru I'm just like you who loves personal finance on the internet you just happen to know how to make video out of it. This is just my own preference when it comes to investing my money on pooled funds. Just take away what you think will work for you and adjust according to your own bias. I hope you learned something from this episode. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. So yun na lang. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!